of an emergency room. There are monitors beeping, lights flashing, people in scrubs running around. The parents of the patient don't know what's going on. The patient's not awake, and there is chaos. In the midst of all of this, you can count that there is one person that will always be looking out for your well-being and advocating for you. That person is a nurse. Nurses are an indispensable part of the healthcare system. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, it is the largest, most diverse, and well-respected healthcare profession in the world. With almost 2.9 million nurses in the United States alone, we can see that they have the power to make a huge impact. To understand the true magnitude of the profession that is nursing, we need to look at the definition of nurses and nursing, the history behind the profession, and we need to look at what modern nursing is. So what is nursing? The American Nurses Association describes nursing as promotion, protection, and optimization of healthcare and abilities, the prevention of illness and injury, and the alleviation of suffering. Nurses take care of individuals, families, groups, organizations, communities, and entire populations. They go beyond the scope of just medicine and focus on the whole patient. So to understand this, we need to look at the model of nursing. The nursing model is the values and the beliefs that define nurses and the way that they work in their environment. The core values of the nursing model are the person, the environment, the health and the nursing actions that need to take place to achieve the goals to make the patient better. So we can see that the definition of nursing kind of contains a lot of things, but to really understand the platform of this profession, we need to look at the history. Florence Nightingale, or the lady with the lamp, was really the cornerstone of the beginning of this profession. She believed that education on health and science could be used to further benefit patients and help them with their care. She saw nursing as a way to give women independence and to bring them out of an age and an era where they were not given much independence. The Crimean War was pinnacle in helping bring about the importance of the profession of nursing, as Nightingale was called with a group of nurses to Russia. The Russian soldiers were dying by hordes in hospitals and they needed somebody to come in and provide sanitation and proper nutrition and reform to help the numbers go down. Upon her arrival and the implementation of new policies, the death rates plummeted. And coming on the turn of the 19th century, nursing was finally looked at as something that needed education and something that needed to be pursued and furthered in the healthcare field. So now that we understand the platform, we need to see how this profession has progressed into its modern era as technology and practices have kind of caught up to it. The role of an RN is something that is really important to understand to really grasp the concept of nursing. RNs are the most common type of nurse and they're the ones that provide physicals. They coordinate the care of patients with other healthcare professionals and with their families. And they're the ones that collect patient history and therefore have the closest connection to patients in personalizing their health care. They're very versatile and can work in many different locations, such as hospitals, doctor's offices, nursing homes, and many other places, including home health care. There are other types of nurses too. It is no longer just a profession that is defined by an RN. While we've gone from Florence Nightingale to an era where women were suddenly on the forefront of this profession, to modern day medicine, where now males are entering the field, we can see that nurses have really made leaps and bounds. Nurse practitioners can provide medication to patients, write prescriptions, and can deal autonomously under the supervision of a doctor with minor illnesses and injuries. Certified nurse midwives can provide obstetric care to low-risk patients and well women gynecological exams. And while certified registered nurse anesthetists provide anesthesia to 65% of all Americans receiving anesthetics. In conclusion, we can see that nursing is 
no longer just a definition. It is something that is defined by its history and its growth into the modern era. Its foundation is built upon people that can facilitate health from all spectrums. This primitive profession has grown into a vital and indispensable part of our healthcare system. So the next time you see someone in scrubs, and you can look at them and know that they are there to maximize your health care, your benefits, and your options. Thank you.